I say, hey, look at the way this world is going. Poverty and hunger is becoming normal, but we're spending billions on hamburger buns and bombs. And then we're forced to listen to these politicians with ill intentions, manipulating the way that we're living for their monetary missions. They put the population in the pit for profit and greed when it's the people that provide the very pennies we need. What makes it worse <laughs> is we the people have allowed it to be. By turning a blind eye to the truth and accepting the lies of the beast. Festering the infection no physician can relieve. Self-destruction is the human disease. Now let it breathe. A way we can. Because we're caught in the chokehold of the system. Now we're made in the image of the Almighty, but we've been convinced that we are victims. Hmm. So therefore we never reach our full potential. And as a result, <laughs> We think the circumstance of our circumstances determines the chances of our life and it's all been worn down like the lead and eraser of a fourth grade pencil and I look at our society and all that I'm seeing is crack fiends on the corner fiending for freedom letting the system beat them infected. With this idea that ignorance is bliss and all the while they lay back in French kiss the devil's lips loose. And so seduced by Lucifer's tongue convinced that his food is to run from the addiction. See a constant contradiction is what we're living. See we're claiming Christ so we can do more sinning than living this loser's life and thinking that we're winning. See, we're bred to think that our life's mission is what's depicted on television. It's forever sickening the way they portray success. See, we'll sell our souls for a couple of dollars of fake breasts, talent been laid to rest. And you wonder why I'm stressed? Because mm. see, <laughs> they say if you knew better, mm. one more time, they say if you knew better, but that's far from the case. Because the right decision seems to be a conflict of interest in this human race. We choose to take this path to destruction, pissing on pioneers like parks in the back of the bus, and it's crazy to me. Have we lost all sight of succeed? See, we indulge in image and greed instead of all the things that we need. We'll spend a small fortune on the latest J's and riding on 23's, but the rent ain't paid and you got miles to feed. Oh, mercy me. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> See, we call to the sea to marry at our convenience, but the rest of the time we roll with the demons. Sipping on sin and gin, spiked with the blood of Jesus. The coolest deceivers, living off the flesh like a bunch of leeches. Can't see the future needs us to break the chains and pave the way for body days and lighten our children so they don't give in to the lives of slaves. See, I strive to pray that one day the world will say enough destruction, let's create and build our souls like totem poles and reach for the sky and see the world through the eagle's eye that maybe we can all white, black, brown, Puerto Rican, and Asian can soar to the end of the rainbow where freedom lies. How y'all doing, I'm Reese. I don't like microphones, so... I figure I can you know, Hey, so this, um, this next piece, I'm going to do two more pieces for you. And the next one is, uh, it's actually dedicated to what you're talking about, suicidal thoughts. And uh, it's dedicated to my uncle who took his life a couple years ago. Check this out. It's called Tears of an Angel. So the other night I saw an angel crying. <laughs> I asked her why, and she replied that she was tired of flying. And see, I, as a mortal man, I couldn't understand. Until she stood up, she spread her wings, and then she took my hand. And in that moment that she held me, I saw a soul she lost. She reached for him in his time of need, and he returned with a scoff. He says, there is no God. Look to the sky, and then he cursed her. Now she's forced to fall back and watch him soul to be murdered by the demons that surround him and suck the life from his soul. Convinced his water so cold that he has encased his heart in cold. He's alone, just going in his solitary drone, cocks the pistol to his dome, and now my mind's blown. I asked him, how could you watch this more than one time? She says, I have no choice it's forever burned inside my mind. I feel his pain, I feel his stress, it's like a piece of soul and rest. She pulls my hair right to her chest and all I hear is scream to death. So I say, look into my eyes, see what I see, walk by my side, be where I be and you will know. The tears of an angel, look into my eyes, see what I see, walk by my side and be where I be and you will know. The tears of an angel, love. <laughs> So much power in these four letters. I never thought that one word could clip an angel's feathers. But then I look into her eyes and I can feel the pain. She's so strong, but I can see she's drained from bearing the weight of these chains from all the lies of the past. Broken trust from all the different men that didn't last. Her past has been repressed and all that's left is depression. Second guessing whether she has the strength to keep trekking, then to help her forget the pain inside. Hmm. She falls into the devil's arms just to feel alive. Only to wake up and find that he's gone in the morning. And once again, her heart is mourning. Another piece of her soul has been stolen by the evil bandit. A screwed up love has once again left her stranded. A damsel in distress in a tight dress searching for the night normal when all she ever needed was a father. Look into my eyes, see what I see. Walk by my side, 
BYB and you will know. <laughs> the tears of an angel. <laughs> Look into my eye, see what I see. Walk by my side and be where I be and you will know. The tears of an angel. Mm. We flash forward to another scene. <laughs> I see her lying on the bed trying to find a dream. But every time she closes her eyes, all she sees is that fateful day when that man took her innocence away. So you look at her face, you can still see the scars. You could drown from all the blood that's spilling from her heart. She's barely 16 and she already feels so ruined. See, the depression sets in and suicidal thoughts are brewing. She can't sleep, she can't eat, she's about as thin as paper, begging for the Lord to take her. And then when it doesn't happen, she decides that she can't wait till later. And they found her in a pool of blood holding a razor. And I looked to the angel and I said, why didn't she tell her parents something that major? Maybe they could have helped her, maybe they could have even saved her. But it's the very truth that allowed the pain to overtake her. How do you tell your mother that your father raped you? Oh, man. Tears of an angel. Hey, this next one is, uh, I want you guys to just kind of mellow down, close your eyes, and take this journey with me, okay? This is, uh, this is about my life, and it's called Prodigal Son. Oh. Sorry, guys. Marine Corps knees ain't quite the same as they used to be, you know? I say, I'm searching for new beginnings in these last days. I'm reminiscing on my past ways. Got me feeling something disgusting, flushed with the shame. And what he drives me insane is knowing that deep inside my heart that I am to blame. I know the only way to counter the pain is through the name, but my pride is too high and I choose to use my brain. So I'm a slave to this corner of mine. And thus I become blind to the Lord's signs. Now I'm sitting here stuck in the mud with the slugs and the hogs. My life is in shambles and I know that I am the cause. My path is on pause. Expose myself to the demon's claws. Now I'm feeling my body's broken, floating with the sharks. And I'm on the verge of sleeping with the fishes. And I keep right on resisting because my mind is vicious. Convince myself that my life is my own for living. And as a result, I choose to abide by my own decisions. And everything that I see is by my own provisions. <laughs> Disregarding the fact that it's you that gives me vision. <laughs> but even when I gave up to my evil deeds, you never gave up on me. I used to say that me and God had a mutual understanding. And now I'm stranded, crippled by my self-inflicted damage. Reminiscing on decisions past and how my consequences evolved. My common sense is dissolved when pride and sin got involved. Addicted to the satisfaction of flesh. Wishing I could turn back the hands of time to the days of my adolescence before my mind was corrupted by the world's evil. <laughs> I was always raised to never dare devils, but I felt it was Knievel. So I hit the gas time past, digging my soul deep knowing that I was sleeping with the reaper. But see, I was hypnotized by the sweet smell of the ether and left me blind to the foul face of the creature. All the fast living and bad women had me thinking I was winning. But the truth is, I was a fool in reverse curse with the wheel spinning. I thought I was the master, now my life is in disaster. I put you on the back burner, and now I'm burning rubber backwards. See, I'm a sheep in wolf's clothing, yearning for green pastures. Sitting in the back row of the church, pierced by every word of the pastor. <laughs> but you know what he said? Even though I gave up to my evil deeds, he never gave up on me. Prodigal son. Mm -hmm. 